The theater program's very small, but it's so tight-knit and it's just, it's a great community to be in. Once you're in a show with someone, you get to know them really, really well, and especially Upward Beating Heart because we spent so long writing and we spent a ton of time learning about each other. You can't, you can't replace that with anything else. I'm Annie Parham and I'm a senior in civil engineering with the Honors College at OSU. The Honors College offers colloquia, which are just one or two credit classes. I took one fall term freshman year called the Science of Art, the Art of Science, taught by Dr. Randall Milstein. He made sure that I was auditioning for shows or I was trying to have my art out there somewhere and not just sticking to civil engineering. That something is difficult must be one more reason for us to do. Upward Beating Heart is actually a process that I've been a part of for about six months now. Uh, we started uh, during fall term, we began writing the show. It's devised based off of Letters to a Young Poet by Rilke. And now we're performing it because we've spent the last term rehearsing it. And it's, it's been a pretty amazing experience. My sophomore year, I was in the Diary of Anne Frank, and I played Anne, and I actually got a scholarship, the Ken and Paula Crane Scholarship, and I've gotten scholarships for engineering, but I never thought that I would get one for theater. So having the support of the community, putting art in galleries, and having people look at it and want to buy it, or being in a show at OSU and having community members come and fill the seats, just tells us that we're doing a good job and that it's something to keep pursuing. The arts and science are very connected in my opinion because you have to have that creative thinking to solve problems, but you also have to be able to look at life analytically. But it's the melding of those two areas where you can come up with the best ideas and solve the problems the quickest and the most efficiently. I hope I get the chance to remain active in the arts, especially theater after I graduate. I've proven to myself that I can do it in my spare time while being in school and having homework and tests to study for. So I think that after a little time in the field, after I get comfortable enough, I will be able to return to doing theater. And that's something that I hope to be able to do for the rest of my life.